The suspect in the Planned Parenthood shooting that left three dead and nine others injured appeared before a judge for the first time today. Denver 7 reporter Mark Boyle is live. Mark, the first surprise came in the first appearance in this case. And that's right. Robert Deere Jr. stepped in front of a camera from the El Paso County Courthouse here where he's being held in order to appear in front of a judge for the first time. Standing next to him, no other than Dan King, who is a high-profile death penalty attorney. You may remember King represented James Holmes in the Aurora Theater shooting trial. Now, certainly no indication right now from prosecution as to whether or not they're going to seek the death penalty in this. We'll show you some video from that appearance today before the judge. You can see that Deer is wearing some sort of vest in that video. Now, certainly a lot uh, going on in this courtroom today, but not a lot said by Deer. Now, Deer only spoke a couple of times when addressed by the judge, simply saying no questions after the procedures were explained to him. The man, the main prosecutor on the case, will be the El Paso County District Attorney Dan May. May saying his office will likely file additional charges a week and a half from now. When our office looks at if and whether we will file charges next week, we are not bound by whatever they, he was arrested on, and we can file if we think it's appropriate whatever charges we feel it's appropriate. Now, there were some family members of victims inside that courtroom today, understandably uh, getting pretty emotional when looking at Deer there on the monitor in the courtroom. A lot of support, though, for those families from the community. We looked at Officer Swayze's account, his crowdfunding account. It's over $103,000 right now. As for Kier Stewart, his is about $17,000. We didn't find an account online for Jennifer Markovsky. Now, we'll have much more from this appearance and hear from the prosecutor in this case coming up tonight at 6 o'clock. We're live in Colorado Springs. Mark Boyle, Denver 7. Thanks, Mark. And as he mentioned, two people, one police officer, were killed in that shooting on Friday. And investigators identified the two people as Jennifer Markovsky. You see her there on the left and Kier Stewart. Markovsky was a stay-at-home mom of two. Stewart was an Iraq veteran and a father to his two daughters. The officer who was killed was Officer Garrett Swayze. He was a University of Colorado, Colorado Springs police officer who responded to the scene after hearing calls of officers under fire. And nine others, including four more officers, were hurt, and we understand their injuries are not life threatening.